Hello people, my name is Avery Miller. Welcome to Game Glitch, the show where I try to glitch games. We're done with Ken Bone for now. So, Neku Asume. I know I pronounced that wrong. The mobile game, and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at it. He Okay, he's sitting there looking more adorbs than Mr. William Burnett. The the monarch. Or, or Ken Bone, even. I, I couldn't resist. Okay, so this guy, I called him Schrodinger, because as pictured here, he's in a box. But wait, what what is that? What is that? Oh my gosh, three points. And it matches up perfectly with the golden rule of thirds. What shape also has three points? I have no idea. Talk about a surprise. <clears throat> okay, anyways, Neku Asume, literally translating to Cat Collector, is the game we're going to be looking at today with all these cute little cats. I heard about this game from everybody's favorite Korean-Japanese YouTube channel, Simon and Martina. See that? That's a face of a madman. No, I'm just kidding. I love Simon and Martina. They are great. So grab your cats, get your cat's phones. <laughs> yeah, get your cat's phone. Neku Asume only runs on phones owned by cats, guys. So that's racist or, or catist or, or something. Um, I've never actually experienced catism, so it probably doesn't exist, actually. <clears throat> Now I'm going to cut right to the point and tell you about the most useful, the simplest hack exploit thing, and I've gone over it before. You go into your phone settings and change the phone's date or time. I've said it a thousand times and I'd say it again. This is probably the best and easiest exploit in any mobile time-based game. I did discover a bit of an underwhelming graphics glitch you can do while taking pictures. Now, if you take a picture off to the left, it will glitch for a second and show some of the area off to the side, if that makes sense, the area extension thing. So no practical use, but it shows you what's just beyond, out of grasp. That being said, although I haven't gotten a chance to buy the yard extension yet, this should be your top priority, as the more area you have, the more room for cats. This game is very accurate in that cats sleep most of the time. My question is, how can anything with a spinal cord sleep like that? Looks comfortable. See, now people these days don't stretch out their backs properly, guys. Just fold yourself over like a paper airplane and it will help cleanse your liver. Now this isn't a glitch, but it's something I didn't even know about that is actually really cool. So go into the menu, click news, and then wait for a cat to pop up with a daily password. Now note that password, then click on the cat and enter the daily password in. It will give you a few silverfish for free. And I mean, that's that's a pretty neat thing, actually. In the past, like in the PewDiePie video, we used some software called Lucky Patcher in order to try to hack the game. Now, using that same software, you can emulate micro purchases in order to get items for free, which I'm not a big fan of, honestly. You should probably just pay the few cents so the guy who made this game can keep his lights on. After all, this game only has 5 to 10 million downloads. Thanks, Google Play, for giving me such a specific number. 5 to 10 million. So there really aren't glitches in this game, but I do have some tricks on how to attract rare cats into your house. That sounds really creepy for some reason. Like if you want to increase your chances of seeing peaches, purchase the cat metropolis. Although peaches hung out with me without the metropolis. Ha. <laughs> Actually, that doesn't look like peaches really. It's sort of like grayed out or something, but I swear I didn't change the name or anything. I have no idea what's going on. Now another rare cat is named Joe DiMaggio. Joe DiMaggio. Which is of course a play on words based off the name of the famous baseball player who played for the Yankees a while ago, Humongous. Now he will apparently appear if you place a baseball, so that's what I did. And after waiting for a while, there he is, in the fur. <laughs> that was really ha <laughs> If you want more information on these rare or even semi-rare cats. You can look it up on Google, but I'll give you guys a quick overview. Senior Don Gatto prefers the mouse toy thing. Chairman Meow likes to sleep in this earthenware pot. Saint Pertrick, 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 likes this silk pillow. Bob the cat likes the cat metropolis 
as does Peach's Lady Meow Meow enjoys sitting in this hammock, and Tubbs likes to eat all your food. I figured that one out the hard way. Now, I'd like to compliment this game on its graphics, because obviously, I like this game, but the frame rate they have going on in these little animations is completely insane. Bro, I'm only making this video in 60 FPS. I don't think YouTube is going to be able to handle all these frames. And I mean, guys, I don't even watch videos unless it's in at least 4K60. Watching 1080p can actually damage your eyes, believe me. <laughs> now, before we leave here, um, I have a bit of fan art sent in from the Scary Gary Society, which according to their website, the Scary Gary's dot... <laughs> it says they're a partisan collective pro proletariat that follows the judicious statements of the principles of Gary. What is this, a cult? Well, actually, Gary seems like a pretty cool dude. I think I should look into that. Well, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe like you're gonna die young and like up the video if you're so inclined. Papa John appreciates you. This is why I don't record so late at night. <clears throat> Bit of an update here. Um, it actually feels kind of surreal. And don't get spooked away now. Just wanted to address the orange in the room. That is Trump won the election, which is something I personally didn't expect. And although I was wishing it would go the other way, if he was your pick, congrats. I hope it's a good presidency. And I hope that he'll prove me wrong, if you get what I'm saying. He said bits of comforting stuff in his speech, but then you have Pence going around supporting conversion therapy, so who who knows what the heck's gonna happen. The important thing now, whether you're in a red state, blue state, or freaking Labrador-colored state, we just need to keep believing in America. We're in this together. Also, you may not be American and just not care, which sounds sort of nice. And don't listen to a teenager's political advice, all right? But Trump was elected, so I think it was a really good choice. Having this video involve cats helps relieve the stress.